Today, we will discuss minerals. One question that is often asked is how are minerals different than a chemical compound such as aspirin? Both are made of chemical elements, but minerals have a characteristic internal structure, but compounds do not. How do we know that a mineral has an internal structure? We know that by the external appearance. For example, you can look at this quartz crystal and you notice it has crystal faces. That tells us that it has an internal structure. To understand the internal structure of minerals, we will need to discuss the structure of atoms and the ways they bond together in minerals. Atoms have a proton and a neutron in the nucleus and electrons which surround the nucleus. We will discuss this in class in more detail. We will talk about ionic bonding, covalent bonding, and we will also talk about other types of bonding like metallic bonding. The Earth's crust is 75% by weight, two elements, oxygen and silicon. Because the silicon to oxygen size ratio is 0.3, what forms is what's called the silicon oxygen tetrahedron, which is an example of that is right here. It has a silicon in the center surrounded by four oxygens. Think of it as a pyramid, if you will, with the oxygens at the apexes of each of the points. All of the silicate minerals are based on this silicon oxygen tetrahedron arranged in different patterns. And there are six major groups. I will talk about a few of these groups. For example, this is the mineral barrel. And it has a ring structure. Perhaps you can see how it's a ring here. Okay? That has a ring structure where these silicon oxygen tetrahedrons are arranged in a ring to form this particular structure. Another type of structure is a mica. What type of structure do you think it has? It's in sheets. So the silicon oxygen tetrahedrons are arranged in sheets. And finally, there's the framework structure where the silicon oxygen tetrahedrons are arranged in a framework pattern. And a good example of that is quartz, as you see right here. There are other mineral groups than the silicates. These include carbonates, sulfides, and here's an example of a sulfide. Looks like gold, doesn't it? It's not. It's pyrite or fool's gold. Another group of minerals would be the sulfates. And this is an example of a sulfate. This is a barite rose from Oklahoma. And there are other mineral groups like oxides, hematite and magnetite. That wraps up the introduction to minerals. In the next video, we will talk about mineral properties.